All right, shalom and praise be unto Yahweh, Bashem Yahushai, Bashem Rakakudash, <clears throat> double honor unto the elder apostles and the elder bishops at Great Millstone, who were well and taught us his truth. Shalom unto the 144,000 and the rest of the elect. Okay, and um, you know, <clears throat> just to uh, touch on this topic real quick, man, you know, um, you know, we're not in that salvation through table tennis, youth worker type of spirit, man. Okay, the prophets of the Lord aren't to be in that salvation through table tennis club, youth worker. Okay, you know, um, I'm going to come out and say it straight from the jump, man. You know, hey, fuck the young people. Okay, fuck the young people. Fuck the middle-aged people um, Fuck the old people Okay At the end of the day If a person ain't right No matter the age um, Category They fall into them Fall into Fuck them Okay You know Because What you see is a lot of people That come across the ministry And try and use it As a Outreach program to cater to the needs of the local community, you know, and um, in terms of trying to tackle particular issues that's going on, okay, now, <clears throat> there's stories and cases of great men of the Lord, even on this side, doing particular things, and um, it's above my, 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 my remit, you know, to, to, to go into that. But um, a spiritual man will be able to see that that was for a slightly different time, you know. And um, the, the individuals that did particular things were um, on, a, on, a, on a, you know, completely different level. Okay, you know. But for where we are right now, all right, you know, on this very day... <laughs> inside joke on this very day but we're, for where we are right now that community outreach you know um table tennis club type of youth worker spirit man that's not what the ministry is about and that's certainly not what the street ministry is about okay the street ministry and i'm gonna get the scriptures but I'm going to say what I have to say real quick, Lord willing, it's concise, and then I'll just read the scriptures and be out. Excuse me, but um, the street ministry, right, is uh, one of the greatest signs of our faith in the Lord, okay? And then um, the people that see us and hear us out there is to gather the elect and to also warn the people of what's to come. Okay, now, statistically, you know, geographically, <clears throat> you can reach more people on the internet, and we are on the internet, you know, but the point is, being out there is, um, like a sign of faith unto the Lord and obedience, okay, we go out there and we upload what we did, you know, well now you can do it live, most of us do it live, so you can see us in real time out there, okay, Uploading the videos on on the, on, the, on the net and things of that nature, man. Okay. But ultimately, we're, we're here to teach the word of the Lord. Okay. The community outreach spirit, table tennis, salvation through table tennis, you know, type of, oh, yeah, you know, yeah, we're here for the people and, you know, and, you know, and, you know, and, yeah, man, you know, you can get a, you can get an orange squash juice and, you know, a bottle of water and a sandwich and an apple in in the in the paper bag and you know, get a little doggy gift and you know, little crayons for the kids and you know, colouring in books for the toddlers and that come on man. Okay, that salvation through table tennis spirit, community outreach, youth worker, that the Lord ain't dealing with that. Okay? The Lord is dealing with the prophets, um, who, who teach, you know, in the style and manner, all right, as we've been taught. And yes, there is a style and there is a manner. And it's to speak authoritatively, 
okay not as on some speculative oh well you know this is my opinion we ain't out here to well this is my opinion we're out there in the spirit of thus saith yahweh bar shim yahweh shai this is it is what it is we're saying what it is and you're either down or you're not end of story now i'm going to prove that in a scripture okay but that table tennis community outreach spirit is not off your how about shimmy out shy. Um, that's one. So this is the book of Matthew 7 and 9 and it says for he taught them as one having authority and not as the scribes okay so Yahweh Shai when he taught man when he spoke at his teaching he spoke as one having authority you know you know and that's how we have to come in an authoritative manner now you can have discourse with people and the scriptures speak about godly God and becoming all things to all men that you may save some. But at the end of the day, we're always going to have to rein it back into thus save the Lord from an authoritative stance. You know, we're not there to be, uh, you know, therapists and hear people out and let people talk madness. Now if someone comes up to the camp and express themselves, you may hear them out. <clears throat> But at the end of the day, it's not just some, oh, well, you know, and this is Dave's story, you know, and this is, this is, a, this is Callum's story, you know, they, they always say that uh, whoever's name it is the story at the end of some tragic accident, man, like you'll be on the job and they'll have like these training videos you got to keep doing every couple of months, so fucking annoying, you know, a guy fucking, I don't know, like gets run over by like a forklift or or um, sticks his hand in the door and he dies or something and they talk about you see this is why we need safety in the workplace and this is Callum's story you know Callum you know got ran over by a fork truck because he wasn't wearing his PPE safety safety coat and helmet so you always wear your helmet and your and your bright fluorescent safety jacket because Callum's story R.I.P. Callum and then they'll name a, co a corridor in the workplace after Callum, close by where his ass got ran over with the forklift or something. Like, we ain't out here to just hear people's story and say, okay, bye. Callum's story. Like, what the fuck, man? We're out here to preach the word. Okay? <clears throat> Doesn't the scriptures say, uh, uh, Second Timothy chapter four and two and it says preach the word, be instant in season, out of season, reprove, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering and doctrine. Okay? You know, because you got people that they, they see things going on in the community and they think salvation, you know, the of the situation is found in setting up youth centers, you know, get the plastic chairs out, you know, the the, P, the 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 gymnasium wooden floor hall of like your, your high school you know get the table tennis out you know uh, <laughs> you know ping pong you know ping pong your way ain't ping pong in your way ain't gonna get you saved man you know all this irrelevant shit man you know oh, no, no, the, the, the youth need ping pong you know they need this they need that man Look, man, we need the Lord, bro. I don't know about no fucking ping pong. We know about um, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai. Lord willing, it stays that way. Okay? But it's very dangerous when that ping pong table tennis community outreach spirit, you know, starts becoming the vibration of one's camp set up. Like, the, the, 
Look, man, community, fuck the, fuck the community. Now, we could get into that word and how it's demonic and that, but I'm using it in its colloquial term. How about that? Fuck the community. My people, do you love your people? No. Okay? Fuck Israelites. Yeah. Because they're the enemy of the Most High at this point in time. This is about the, the Israel of the Most High. The elect. Okay? And let's validate that in the scriptures. Um, oh. I'm used to using that. Romans 9 and 6 and it says not as though the word of the most I have taken on effect for they are not all Israel which are of Israel and again the target audience you know people that specifically target the wrong fucking audience to the untrained eye and listener it would seem as if the word of the most I has none effect no it's not that the word of the most I has none effect it's just that you're focusing on the Israel that aren't the Israel <laughs> that the Mosai is currently interested in. Neither because they are the seed of Abraham are they all children, but in Isaac shall thy seed be called. Okay? So just because they're they you know, you know, um um from the Abrahamic line doesn't mean that you know the Mosai is dealing with them and then just because you're an Israelite doesn't mean the Lord is dealing with you. It's about the Israel of the Most High. Okay? For they are not all Israel which are Israel. So you could be Israel by bloodline. But are you Israel um, according to election? And the scripture says, bring forth meat. Uh, bring forth fruit. Meat. For repentance Matthew chapter 3 verse 8 <clears throat> bring forth therefore fruits meat for repentance I put meat as in damn I spelt it like actual meat like um venison and that salaki so man meat alright which means um, basically uh, a good. Um, oh, shoot. Um, I'll, I'll call back in a second. You good? Hey. Let me call you back in like um, five minutes. Okay. All right, cool, cool. So lucky about that. Um, <clears throat> I wouldn't have answered that but it's an important call so just need him to know that I will um, call back so it says um, bring forth therefore meat for repentance okay and think not to say within yourself okay that's going into something else but that's the point alright we need people that are um say we need people the lord needs people and we hope we're of those people um that are good unto repentance you know but purposely targeting low level trash and yes most israelites are low level trash like you go to, you know niggas man you know that's 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 like bringing a rotten grape to the harvest man you know, a rotten apple, you know, in the fruit basket. Like, you've handpicked these fruit, but you're purposely putting in rotten ap apples and grapes and pears. Bruised up bananas and flipping half maggot-eaten mangoes. And you're trying to put that in the fruit basket. Like, what happened to you, man? Okay. You know, that table tennis spirit, man. The Lord ain't dealing with that. 
that oh yeah you know community we need to help the community and help the people man nigga fuck the people man this is about the elect okay and really i'm gonna close out on this really an individual that focuses on the people you you really in the spirit of satan that table tennis community outreach spirit is the spirit of satan because the scriptures speak about elect according to the full knowledge um let me see how i can do that for knowledge i think that's one word of the most high yeah That's in Peter somewhere, yeah. It is first Peter chapter one and two. And it says, Elect according to the full knowledge of uh the most side of Father, through sanctification of the Spirit, unto obedience and sprinkling of the blood of your whole shy, grace unto you and peace be multiplied. Okay. So peace is only extended unto the hopeful elect, man. The Bible's all about the elect. Okay, so purposely trying to reach, you know, the crap and trash of our people, man, and making it your mission to be on this community youth worker outreach type of spirit. Yeah, that's bullshit, man. And the Lord ain't dealing with that, man. All right. It's quality over quantity. And it's um, um, purpose mm -hmm. over people. You know, what's the purpose we're out here? It's not just about people. It's about the purpose. And the purpose is to bring forth meat. Okay, fruit. That's meat for repentance, man. You know, that community outreach, table tennis, I'm here for the people. Don't use the Bible for that, man. Cause you you disrespecting on a, on a huge level, man. Don't use the Bible for that. Just go sign up with your local council or whatever and be say, I want to be a youth worker, man. Them men are on like, I don't know, like, like 30k a year in, in the UK. It's not a lot of money, but you get by in it. Like, so go be a youth worker, man. Like, don't don't use the Bible to be some community outreach dude. Like, Lord ain't dealing with that, man.